Oh, hello. Sorry about that. Just listen to it again. Um, we're up to round 13. This weekend, and it's Carlton versus Gold Coast tomorrow night in Darwin. And uh, Gold Coast played Richmond last weekend. So this is how it went. Lynch gets rid of Collins all too easy. Lynch puts it in towards goal. Dusty and Charles. The song beats them both. But it hasn't beaten the Tigers tonight. The Suns were gallant in defeat, but it's still a 21-point margin. So I suppose uh, Gold Coast didn't win that one, so that's good for us. Uh, Gold Coast have got a player in his second game last weekend called Sam Flanders who kicked his first goal. Sounded like this. His first goal in AFL footy, just the one step in. The kick is a beauty. Sammy Flanders, well done. And they will get around him. Look at this. Come on, defenders, run up and give him a little tap on the back. Nothing lower. So if he kicks any goals against us, though, he'll hear a lot of this. Flanders. Uh, David Teague, in his pre-game presser, had this to say. One of the great things about this group is whether we win or lose, their ability to to want to learn and get better and the way they train is, is probably the area that you want to maintain and, and the guys have done that again. We had a really good review of that. There's a lot of areas that we needed to get better in from that game and we've identified and then we also had a look at some of the things we did well. So I think our guys will be ready to, uh, to go out and get the job done again this week. And it is, of course, the Indigenous round this weekend. Round 13, the uh, Sir Doug Nichols round. And Eddie Betts was on AFL 360 this week to talk about it. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's, you know, it's an amazing week to celebrate um, Sir Doug Nichols' round, um, especially going up to Darwin. You know, the Dreamtime game is going to be held up there. Um, it's going to be unbelievable. And we get to host it on Friday night and open up the round, which is fantastic. And like I said, it's a fantastic week to, to represent, you know, our, our family, our culture, brothers, sisters, uncles and aunties we're watching. And, Especially being in Darwin, you know, there's you know, a massive uh, Indigenous base up there. There's going to be a lot of supporters coming to the game. So really looking forward to it. Well said. And of course, um, Stuart Jew is the Gold Coast coach. And Michelle Obama had something to say about him during the week too. He has had more than enough time to prove that he can do the job. But he is clearly in over his head. He cannot meet this moment. He simply cannot be who we need him to be for us. It is what it is. What have you got to say about that, Homer? Yes! And what have you got to say, Billy? Jason has been yes. suspended for 33 days, so the fiesta is over. Oh, well. Go Blues this weekend, yes! Hashtag Go Blues, yes! Oh. Oh, phone's ringing. Hello? I'm Andy, yes. Yeah, no, I just finished. Oh, you want to hear it again? Yeah, no worries. Here's uh, Triple M's call. I know oh, you can't get enough of this. It's amazing. Me too. <laughs> won the game for Carlton. Oh, what a kick by yes. Nunes. Very exciting. What a fantastic kick. Fremantle are beaten with a kick after the siren. And this is our three of W's call. He's going with the drop path, the conventional drop path. Jack Nunes from the boundary line. Yes. On the way. It's looking very good. Stop it's it. a goal. He's kicked the goal. <laughs> What about the finish? What about on. the moment? Fantastic. Jack News has kicked the winner for Carlton after the siren. It is exciting. What a game. What a finish. What a moment. And the Blues are home. No, it is very good. That. Oh, still recording.